Hey everyone, Chelsea Pretty here, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different from the usual nail art that I do. We're gonna be creating some Aurora glass nails. This is now a non-Korean style with no gel products. Now, I also wanna state that I did first create this on my natural nails. However, I just didn't really feel the vibe with it being on short nails, so I went ahead and did it instead on some press-ons, and I am super stoked. I loved it, especially in the sunlight. I think it looks absolutely stunning. So without further ado, let's get started. So one of the main products that I used was What's Up Nails Aurora Pigment. This is normally used with gel, but in this case, I did use it, of course, with a non-gel product, and I'll show that really soon. But you can see like the pink, the green, and the blue in this. So the product I'll be using to get the powder to stick to the nail is gonna be Super Chick Lacquer's G-Force X Burnish and Bond Base Coat. Now this, you're gonna wanna apply a very thin coat to the nail. Now when you do this, you're gonna wait about closer to a minute for it to dry, depending on the area you're in. You just want it to be ever so slightly, and I mean slightly tacky, not wet, almost dry, because then that's when you would go ahead and burnish the powder in with your finger. Do not use a silicone tool, otherwise you can dent the nail. So that's why you want to use your finger and then from there once everything is done and burnished in you're going to go ahead and take a fluffy brush dust it off and then from there you can go ahead and apply a smudge free top coat or a water-based top coat because if you use a regular top coat you're actually going to damage the powder it won't it's going to cloud up and everything which note real quick now when working with a smudge free top coat or even a water-based top coat you may get some cloudiness that's completely normal just make sure that you work in very thin layers and then once it clears up then you can go ahead and put on a fast drying top coat. I'm using the INM out the door because it's not super thick like the super chick one is. Now I want to pause here for a moment. Now I just want to add on here that if you notice that there's some type of streaking with the powder or it looks like it's streaky, it all depends on how you applied your G-Force X. So I just want to state that it happened to me. That's It does happen. I just apply mine a little too thin. You can always repeat the steps. That's totally fine. Just make sure that you always apply at the very end a, a fast drying top coat so that it's nice and hard before you move on with the further steps and now let's work on the blue nail next i'm going to be working on the blue nail so i'm going to be using maniology's blueberry blast this is a sheer blue jelly and i did two coats on two of the nails so here i just wanted to try out and see exactly how it would look with having a blue aurora glass type nail and honestly this was actually my husband's favorite he preferred the blue one other than the clear so you know i I was like okay so I tried the blue and I don't know you guys can decide at the end what you prefer now what I wanted to do because this is a jelly and I'm gonna be you know rubbing things into my nails I need to harden it so I went back in again with the INM out the door because this is a thin fast drying top coat give it about 10 minutes to harden and then I can go ahead and apply that super chick lacquers g-force you know burnishing base coat again wait for it to become slightly tacky almost dry and then you can go ahead and rub in that powder. Make sure you're using your finger and you want to be gentle with it. I did the same thing here. I did two coats of the powder, so I kind of repeated the steps. So this nail was a little bit, I would say thicker because of the fact that I had a jelly base coat and the clear nail, two less coats on it. So I just want to kind of give a heads up. Your nails will look a little bit thicker. Now, once all of that has been completely done and I've done all of the extra steps, I can now go in with my fairy dust by China Glaze. I wanted to add a little extra something to it and I thought a scattered holographic would look great just to add some extra little sparkle especially in the sunlight and I just thought it would look really nice but I still was not finished with it. I still wanted to add more to this nail. I did do one coat each on both or all of the nails I should say but I felt like it still needed a little extra something so that's when I went in once that was dried with Lux and Lush. This is an iridescent flake shredded topper by China Glaze. It came out from a collection many, many moons ago. And so I applied one thin coat. Now, here's the thing with this. With this type of polish, because it's shredded, you want to make sure that the flakes are laying flat. So if you see any type of like pieces that are sticking up, you can just gently pat them down when it's almost completely dry is the best way I could say that you want to, you know, you don't want to touch this when it's wet, dry, basically. But you want to make sure all of the flakes lay completely flat. Now, once that's completely done, I wanted to smooth everything completely out. So I'm going to be using my glitter grabber thing top coat. And this just kind of helps fill in the ridges, the gaps, just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And so in that case,
days when I go to apply my little flakes, then there won't be any issues. Now, because again, I'm gonna be laying things on my nails, I'm gonna kind of be squeegeeing them in, is the best way I can say. I'm gonna be using again another layer of that quick drying top coat by INM. Again, it's a fast drying top coat, but it's it's not super thick, it's thin. So now you can see I'm using these Aurora glass or these iridescent pinky blue film pieces. Now they are like full on plastic, so they don't have that weird backing that other foils have. Like this is a little bit thicker than the foils that you think of when you're kind of putting on your nails, but then you're like, you know, ripping it off or not ripping it off, but you're kind of like holding it up, you know? So this is, this type of foil is a little bit different. It's a little bit more rigid is the best way I can say. And here you're just seeing that I'm kind of like sizing the foil to the nail. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut to where I need it to fit the nail. Of course, I always start in the middle of the actual sizing. And then from there, I can go ahead and cut my strips from now. I wanted to state that I went with strips because I wanted to make sure that the light caught at different angles to kind of make it look like it's moving around. And then after that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and apply a very thin layer of the nail foil glue. Make sure this completely dries. And when you know it's dry, it'll go completely clear. Now I'm going to be using a crystal katana or a rhinestone pickers. And it's great for using for placement of the foils. And then I'm going to take a silicone tool, which you normally would use with like powders for like gel nails. And I'm just going to kind of like squeegee or press it down, not too heavy, not too hard. And I'm just going to kind of make sure that it lays flat, that there's no ridges or anything of the sort. And this is a great tool. Along the way, you'll notice that I'm actually fitting to size. So anything, I'm going to cut down the strips closer to the edges. So they're going to get smaller. You know, they, they're larger in the middle. They get smaller on the sides and then it looks like a strip. And then I'm going to do the same thing again with the blue nail, but with the blue foil. So this is exactly, I just repeat the steps over and over and over. Now, once this is completely done, I go ahead and I apply another coat of the I am in out the door fashion drying top coat. I know I sound like a broken record at this point, but this is what I wanted to do. Make sure everything was in place, not moving or any of that. I wait for it to completely dry. And then I go back and again with my glitter smoothing top coat or my glitter grabber, because this is great for smoothing out any bumps or ridges. And then once that is completely dried, so I give it about like 20 minutes after the glitter grabber, I then go in with my final top coat, which is my super chick lacquers macro liquid quick drying top coat, because this stuff is super plump, super glossy, and it just looks amazing. And it really helped this like pr these press ons really, really pop. And they just look so beautiful in the sunlight. I was absolutely obsessed. Everything that I used in today's video, I will list down below in the description box or in the pinned comment. But I am really curious if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you learned something today, if you're thinking about recreating this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you're planning on doing it there. But not only that, go ahead and subscribe and join the Chills crew. Don't forget to click the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so very much for staying subscribed. I truly appreciate you. You have no idea. But not only that, I have a lot of fun content coming. So definitely stay tuned. Take care and stay chilly.